Hi, this is Bree Stock, Master of Wine and Education Manager with the Oregon Wine Board. Today we're going to be chatting about environmental stewardship and certifications that are currently used on Oregon wine labels. Like many here, I am not a native Oregonian, but what was immediately striking to me and anyone visiting Oregon's wine growing regions is the diversity of farming and agriculture that covers this landscape. Oregon and its major growing region, the Willamette Valley, is by no means a monoculture of the vine. Instead, vineyards lie nestled above hazelnut orchards and fields of berries and sit sheltered among forests of Christmas trees and Oregon white oak savanna. This constant presence of community is why Oregon's sustainability programs are intentionally local in focus. Oregon wine producers know that the soils, climate, plants, animals, and people of the Pacific Northwest are its terroir and need to be viewed as such and protected. 47% of our vineyards are certified sustainable, but you still may not immediately recognize some of these certification logos on the bottles of Oregon wine, like live or salmon safe, as these are unique to the Pacific Northwest. More than 25 years ago, a small group of like-minded wine growers from Oregon's Willamette Valley formed LIVE, which stands for Low Impact Viticulture and Enology. LIVE takes a whole farm and whole winery approach to sustainability. The entire property, including non-grape crops, landscaping, building operations, labor practices, and even packaging, must be managed to LIVE standards, making it unique among certifications. Wines bottled with live symbols are the product of a values-based system of agricultural production whose goal is multi-generational sustainability in the farming and crafting of quality wine in the Pacific Northwest. Only wines that are made from a minimum of 97% certified grapes qualify as live wines. Salmon Safe Farm Certification is another symbol that often accompanies the live image on a label. Live partnered with Salmon Safe in 2001, and together they protect watersheds and fish habitat from the impacts of agriculture. Most recently, in 2017, a group of second generation producers created the Willamette Valley White Oak Accord to protect and restore the remainder of Willamette Valley's white oak habitat, which has diminished down to 3%. 98% of this remaining Oregon white oak savanna is located on private land. 42 vineyard owners have so far signed the accord to protect and reestablish the species in the Willamette Valley. Impressively, an increasing number of Oregon producers are moving beyond sustainable certifications and embracing international certification practices of bi biodynamics and organics. In fact, 35% of U.S. Demeter certified vineyards are based in Oregon, despite Oregon producing only 1% of U.S. wine. What this means for your wine is that there are no systemic pesticides used in the vineyard, and instead, farmers focus on holistic practices, integrated pest management, wetland, and native species conservation. B Corp. Oregon is also the industry leader with more than five and swiftly increasing wineries certified as B Corporations. B Corps are businesses that meet the highest standards of verified social and environmental performance, public transparency, and legal accountability to balance profit and purpose, accelerating a global culture shift to redefine success in business and build a more inclusive and sustainable economy. Oregon's ongoing commitment to sustainability can be summarized here. The 47% of certified sustainable vineyards higher than any other state in the U.S. and 35% of total Demeter biodynamic vineyards, again, the highest in the U.S. Further speaks to Oregon's commitment to environmental quality standards that transcend product and protect people and place. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next time.